atheists say, I don't believe in God for the same reasons I don't believe in Santa Claus. Substitute Santa with the Tooth Fairy, Leprechaun, some Sky Daddy, or Flying Spaghetti Monster, and it's become a popular ad hominem for less sophisticated thinkers who'd rather poison the well and bait Christians into angry responses than engage in honest discussion. In fact, it commits the fallacy of poisoning the well. And it's not a valid comparison. Children believe in Santa Claus. Christianity is beyond the scope of most children's understanding. And for ages, people have believed in some type of deity. Many of the most intelligent, educated people coming to this conclusion as adults. But no one starts believing in Santa as an adult. <laughs> and where are the theological schools? The thousands of books devoted to a serious defense of Santa's existence like we find in Christianity. Part atheists will do debates and lectures against God's existence, but you don't see them writing books called The Santa Delusion or Leprechauns Are Not Great. But you do see atheists evoking Santa imagery while trolling social media and sowing hatred toward another seemingly fictional character. Why despise one fictional character and not the other? Because they're engaged in a spiritual battle. They hate God and as Romans 1.18 says, they are suppressing the truth and unrighteousness. Presents popping up under a tree overnight are better explained without a Santa Claus. But the atheists can't even come close to explaining how our universe, life, morality, and rationality just appeared from nothing. So while the atheist portrays himself as the mature thinker while classifying theists as uneducated and gullible, he can do no better than to attribute creation to purposeless luck. So who really believes in fairy tales?